incredibly proud of you, Adam Horrigan. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the 30 Under 30 Thank Award, you. mate. Um, it's an honour to be here for the fourth year running, well, for the fourth year of the yeah. Fix Awards. Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself and introduce yourself for people that might not know you on sort of the social media platforms. My name's uh, Adam, I'm from Watford. I've been working as an electrician, electrical apprentice for about three, three and a half years. Now with my boss at Rancis Electrical, and we're just like quite local based. We do a lot of quite diverse work, which is what I like. So that's how I got into electrical. So I like how diverse it is and how you can branch off from it. That's what I'm going to try and do after. Okay, fair enough. Cool. How have you found your apprenticeship? Like, has it been sort of a tough sort of getting through that in the meantime? Was you doing it during COVID or did you manage to avoid that disaster? <laughs> I done it straight after COVID. So I was quite lucky to find the apprenticeship after. Yeah. But what I liked most about it is the fact that you can learn from your mistakes and you know from it. And it's something like how you develop. Like, you know you get good at something when you start to learn from it. Yeah. And you know, like, from when you started at the first point to the last point that you know, wow, I'm, I'm starting to learn. I feel like mm. I'm growing as a person. And I feel like being in a trade does that for you because there's quite a good balance of, like, practical and theoretical kind of stuff as well. Yeah. Which is what I mostly liked about uh, electrical. Yeah. But I went to college, I learned the theoretical part. And then when I went into work, most days I did the practical part. And it was a really good work-life balance as well, especially socially as well. You yeah. know, as well, you had a, it's all a good like work-life balance as well. Mm -hmm. And then I had, a, I had a really good mentor as well, and he he would he would guide me along the way as all that. So it was good. that's what I like most about it. Oh, good. Well, it's good to hear that you're enjoying the industry and that you like the diversity because there's so yeah. many var variations and different works that you can do. Have you got a favourite that you prefer to do, whether that's domestic, commercial, or industrial? Predominantly working domestic, but. I like doing a lot of like data stuff. That's more like my realm. Like it's a lot of interesting. It's quite interesting that kind of stuff. But I like uh, most like second fix days and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. um, or any like uh, interesting lighting that we'll do as well for customers and all that. I like how like each day is a different day. So one day you could do like fault finding. Another day you yeah. could do first fix. Another day you can do just small local jobs. You know what I mean? It's what you pick and choose. But just what I like about it. It's not like the same thing you're doing every day. Yeah, so you'll, you'll, you'll never have a boring day, basically. <laughs> even some days you'll finish early, you'll be like, oh, it's an early day. Yeah, so it's still like, puts a smile on your face, even yeah. if somebody won't do it every day. That's good. So, obviously, now that you've won the EFIX Award, 30 under 30, how do you feel like that's going to affect your career going forward for like the foreseeable future? I feel like with electrical, you have a lot of like diverse opportunities as well. Having the 30 under 30 will, will like push you, or any like employer or anybody who Say, for example, if you're going to go to do a degree, well, I want to do a degree apprenticeship, if I'm looking at an employer and they see I have the 30 and the 30, well, they go, well, compared to other people who want to do this degree apprenticeship, he's already done an apprenticeship with someone and he's won an award with it. Yeah. I'm more inclined to be with this person who's more passionate about it as well. You'll never push forward anything unless you're passionate about it, especially yeah. in a trade. If, you're never, if you don't have that passion or that drive to do it, then you'll never see anything with it. And with... Uh, with uh, anything like electrical or any other trade when you push yourself forward with it you opens up a low, whole new world yeah. like, um, so that's what I'm going to do so like with a 30 under 30 well, I'm going to try and use it to go into lighting design or electrical engineering or any any other any other branch of electrical really yeah I was going to ask the next question at the university degree which way was you going to sort of push so hopefully I can do a degree apprenticeship again with yeah. a company so like um, the smart way of doing it is like no, like you don't have to pay off the debt of like university or learning whilst you're getting paid. Yeah. Like it's what I'm doing now. Because as I said, the best way I've learned is with my mistakes, like practically like on learning on the field. Yeah. Like I'd rather learn with someone and teach me and someone tells me, oh, this is like, you've learned from this and now you can do better from that. Yeah. So that's why I want to do a degree apprenticeship and hopefully get into lighting design, but anything else as well. Like you can go into data, mm -hmm. you can do oil rigs as well. Yeah. You can, you can do loads of other stuff. There's loads of opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Well, just remember, if you want to do the lighting design, <laughs> who's the specialist that you're working with right now? The Seco group. Yeah. And I'm sure they would be more than happy to sort of, yeah. have a 30 under 30 sort of working with them and, you know, imparting some of their knowledge that they're obviously imparting on us now.
Yeah. So it'll be quite a cool thing to sort of see a 30 30. I really got quite a few contacts today from people, like you know people, yeah, you know people yeah. anyway. So it, it, especially with the 30 and the 30, well, with so many different branches of people around, mm -hmm. they'll give you contacts to people that you don't know because especially in this trade, everybody's nice to each other about things. Like everybody just wants to help each other, which, yeah. is, quite a, which is quite a reassuring, nice thing as well. Yeah, no, it certainly is. Because when you get into it, you don't know anybody at all. But when you come to these events and all that, people just want to help each other out, which is really nice yeah. to see. No, it is, it is. Like, obviously, I won it in my first year of the ethics being done. Yeah. I still keep in contact with the people that yeah. were the 30 under 30s then. So that's three years down the line. I'm still passing work to them. Their person worked yeah, to yeah. me. So that relationship has still been built. And if not, it's got stronger over the three years. So yeah. it's definitely worth sort of keeping in contact with the people that you see today because you never know where any of you are going to be. Yeah. You know, it's quite a cool thing to sort of think about in the long term, sort of future wise. Obviously, now that you've won the 30 under 30, um, obviously, the next stage is nominating somebody for 30 under 30. Have you got somebody in mind? Like, is there a friend that you know that's doing something similar, like an apprenticeship that you think, God damn, he works hard? There is somebody I have in mind. He's, he wants to be an electrician. He's a lot older. And I think if he gets into it, I'd nominate him because he's proper passionate about it. It's something he's, he's taken a lock into and he's not being silly about it. He knows that he wants to do it. Mm. And if, if he ever works with me or someone I recommend in the future, like and I hear good results by now. I definitely nominate him. Okay, well, it's a good thing. Keep that under the wraps and keep it under yeah. nose, and yeah. see if he develops into something that you would. Because you know when you know of. when you speak to someone and they're interested about something, yeah. you know they're not they're not being silly about it. This person I know as well. Yeah, like, I feel like I nominate him. So I already have someone in mind. Yeah, good. Well, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time, Adam. Yeah. It was lovely to no uh, have a conversation nice and sort you. of ask you a couple of questions. Yeah. So best of luck in uh, light design. And